today I'm making charcoal farfalle. To start, you'll need two cups of flour. Pour the flour out onto a clean work surface and use your hand to form a well in the center. Add some salt, a teaspoon and a half of activated charcoal, and then about 250 milliliters or one cup of water. You're gonna to wanna to add the water gradually, so just use a fork to whisk the flour and water together and slowly bring the flour from the sides of the well into the center. Once the dough is thick enough, switch to working it by hand. Knead for about 10 minutes or until the dough springs back when a finger is pressed into the surface. Cling film the dough and set it aside for a minimum of 30 minutes. While that's resting, I'm going to make a sauce I'll be serving with the farfalle. Get 200 grams of feta, 100 grams of cooked beetroot, and some lemon juice into a blender and blitz until smooth. Add salt and pepper to taste. Pour this into a container and set it aside. Once the pasta has rested, cut it into two pieces so that it's easier to work with. Then roll the piece of dough you're working with out into a rectangle and laminate it by folding it into thirds and rolling it out. Then you're just gonna repeat this process two more times. After this, roll the dough out until it's thin enough to be cut into pasta. If you find that your dough keeps kind of springing back, just leave it for a few minutes to let the gluten relax. So step away for about five minutes, then come back and the dough will be much easier to work with. To make the farfalle shape, cut the dough into thick strips about half an inch thick then cut these strips into little rectangles. To shape the farfalle, the best way for me, at least, is to take two fingers and place them on the side, then place your pointer finger in the center and pinch the pasta upwards. I'll show you again here. Once the farfalle have been shaped, you can get them onto a tray and leave them to dry before storing, or if you want to cook them, place them in a pot of boiling salted water for about three minutes or until they float to the top. So that's pretty much it for this recipe. If you like this video and you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing and feel free to connect with me on Instagram at chefstudio underscore.